What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel today. I am back with a tactic testing update video. Previously on the channel, I ran some tests on the GYRFM Swanzalona V2. This is a tactic that was created for FM22 and I put it in FM23 and see if it would hold up against the new game. Now it ran with some pretty impressive results. However, SI put out an update for FM23 recently, the 23.2 update, so I thought I'd come back and retest the tactic once again. I have run it on three one-season sims, one with PSG, one with Manchester City and one with Real Madrid to see what the results will be. Has it been nerfed or has it actually gone on to be an even better tactic after the match engine fixes and the gameplay fixes that SI put out? So... If you've seen the previous video, it's going to be the same tactic, so you won't really need to see the tactic and the breakdown. But we are going to break it down in case you haven't seen it. We're also going to go through the in-possession, the out-possession, and the in-transition. And then we'll show you those all-important results. So let's jump to the tactics tab and have a run through. So the tactic is a 4-2-3-1. As I said, exactly the same tactic. But if you haven't got it from the previous video, there will be a link in the description down below. Uh, it's an attacking formation that should score a lot of goals. Let's break down some positions then. We start off with a sweeper keeper on defend. We have a fullback on the left hand side on attack. You will have two central defenders in the middle. And on the right hand side, you will have an attacking fullback. Now at this point of the video, obviously if you need to pause it, feel free to do so. Jot down any notes you need from the tactic. If you're going to port them across to the handheld versions or the mobile version of the game, don't forget to come back and let me know, do these tactics work on other versions of the game? Um, some of these tactics I think are pretty much PC exclusive, but it would be very interesting to see if the crop of tactics that we get for FM23 would work outside of this version so let's continue on up the pitch we have a box-to-box -box midfielder on support we have a Mazala on support on the left hand side we have an inside forward on support we have a shadow striker on attack we have an inside forward on the right hand side on attack and we have an advanced forward on attack so, as I said, it's a custom GYRFM 4231 tactical style. Its mentality is attacking, so you should score a lot of goals. The in possession tab will look like this. The in transition will look like this. And out of possession will look like this. So, that is the tactic wrapped up. Obviously, last time out, it had impressive results, but is that going to be the case? Let's jump across to the competitions tab. We're already on Manchester City, so we're going to start there. Let's have a little look at what happened. And you can see Manchester City did win the Premier League. Now, they finished level on points with Liverpool, both on 95 points. But look at Manchester City's goal difference. They have had 100 as a goal difference difference scoring 95 points along the way we'll break that down in just a second you can also see that they ended up beating psg who are one of the other teams so it's gone against the same tactic and manchester city have come out and won the champions league 3-2 against psg they were knocked out in the fourth round of the fa cup by arsenal uh, they were runners up in the carabao cup who did they lose to let's have a little look there they lost to liverpool so no shame in that and then the community shield they were runners up there too so let's break down the premier league a little bit then if we go to the stages you can see that they had played 38 won 30 games drawn five lost three scored a whopping 137 goals they conceded 37 and that left them with that 100 goal difference and 95 points if we go back to the profile let's have a look then Erling Haaland getting 47 goals. He had an 8.23 average rating. Riyad Mahrez with a 7.35. Silva with 17 assists. Gomez with 13 assists. You have Haaland with 14 player of the match awards. Edison with 16 clean sheets. Jack Grealish with 11 yellow cards. A bit surprising. Kyle Walker with 4.95 dribbles per 90 minutes. 
So an impressive start then as we look at Manchester City you can see that they have won a double, a Premier League and a Champions League double. Now we know that PSG get to the final also so let's switch over to PSG and see what happened in the French League and again you can see straight away on the landing page we have another success in terms of the league. We have a Centurion season in 100 points. They have a goal difference of 130 130 for goal difference uh, they were runners up in the champions league obviously but they did go on to do a domestic treble by winning the french cup and the trophée de champion uh winning that at the start of the season so uh liga un uber eats let's have a look at that if we go to the stages you can see they won the league quite comfortably um they played 38 won 32 games drew four lost two scored 157 goals now when i said in the tactic that being an attacking formation you will score goals that is absolutely ridiculous and i am going to go on record and state that is the most goals i have seen in a tactic test or in one of my own saves on fm 23 that is seriously impressive they conceded 27 so compared to the other teams in the league that is the best also and that left them with 130 goal difference and 100 points if we go to the profile of the league you can see that their famous front three all scoring goals Neymar with 34 Mbappe with 31 Messi with 24 you had all of their players in the top four positions for average ratings Messi getting 23 assists you had player of the match awards nine for Messi nine for Mbappe 18 clean sheets for Donnarumma and then Bernat 6.05 dribbles per 90 minutes uh, if we go back to the competitions tab, as I said, we know that they were runners up to Manchester City there. In terms of the French Cup, they beat Rennes 6-0 in the final of that. And at the start of the season in the Trophée de Champion, they beat Nantes 4-2. So again another impressive season using this tactic it's goals galore one final season to run then let's look at Real Madrid and what they could achieve and once again you can see Real Madrid are champions in Spain if we go and break that one down uh, Spanish first division let's look at the stages so they won the league 38 played 29 games won two games drawn they did lose seven times using this formation but they scored 132 goals 40 goals conceded, 92 goal difference and 89 points to win the league. Look at the profile screen, Benzema got 38 goals, Hazard, Benzema and Rudiger all in the average ratings list. You had Asensio with 13 assists, Cruz with 13 assists and Modric with 11 assists. And you had Mendy with 4.75 dribbles per 90 minutes. So once again, another league won, that's all three teams winning their domestic leagues and completely crushing it to go with it uh, they did get knocked out in the round of 16 by Parthenope or Napoli to you and me uh, they won the UEFA Super Cup they finished runners up in the Spanish Cup to Barcelona and in the Spanish Super Cup they were knocked out in the semi-final also by Barcelona so we have seen three different teams absolutely dominate everything that they have taken part in we have had three domestic league winners we've had a domestic treble we have had manchester city winning the premier league and the champions league psg got to the final also so this tactic once again is standing up against the 23.2 update and it still looks like an absolutely fantastic option if you want to have a bit of fun when playing fm23 Right then, I'm going to start to wrap it up there. Before I go, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel. Every single person that does that is a big, big help. And it helps me get the videos out. Also helps other people to see them. And it helps the channel to grow. Before you go, don't forget to check out the rest of the channel. There is other videos in terms of Wonder Kids. There are tactics. There are tutorials. There are Let's Plays. A little bit of something for everybody on the channel. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it up there. A big thank you for watching. I'll see you on another video soon.